In this module, we'll be looking at the applications for sawn timber. We'll look at timber framing and where timber can be used in residential multi-storey buildings and also in trusses. We'll look at feedstock for some structural products that we will examine in later modules. And we'll look at timber in specialist structures like bridges and wharves. Timber for framing is primarily plantation grown. In Australia, it is always seasoned. It's graded to Australian standards using advanced technologies, many computers in the mills making lots of measurements on each individual piece of timber. Its properties are verified by quality control testing and it's specified by size, grade and treatment. In this photo you can see a timber frame and you can see a light blue colour. So the light blue colour indicates that it has a level of treatment which is appropriate for internal frame use. Residential timber frames make use of smaller sections, sections similar to this size pieces of timber. Simple connections that can be made with hand tools, often with machine tools. And a level of prefabrication can be accomplished. We can prefabricate frames, we can prefabricate roof trusses and then assemble on site. In other countries, greater moves to prefabrication are being undertaken where whole rooms can be pre-assembled and lifted in with a crane to the building. Multi-storey timber framing is becoming more common in Australia. So it can be used in apartment buildings and as part of the design, an engineer has to ensure that it's got appropriate structural performance, appropriate fire performance and appropriate sound transmission performance. All of these are extra details that engineers have to worry about in terms of commercial building. In trusses, sawn timber can be used as part of a roof, part of a floor and part of a specialist structure. With a truss, it's a level of prefabrication that means attention to detail can be undertaken in a factory environment and then the pre-assembled items assembled on site. In some cases, sawn timber like this is used to assemble engineered wood products. Glued laminated timber is made by taking a number of pieces of sawn timber, gluing them together and laying them up. And this is a model of the way in which glued laminated timber works. So we're using pieces of sawn timber all laid up with their grain in the same direction. Cross laminated timber is made up by taking um, sawn timber, gluing them together in alternate layers to make up large panels of timber. In each case, the raw material is sawn timber. Specialist timbers include much larger section sizes. So if we're designing or refurbishing a timber bridge, then we're going to be using sections with cross-section sizes of this order. So it's not going to come out of normal sawn timber that we can buy at the local hardware shop. Those sections have to be specially produced with that particular application in mind. And this also includes round building poles. These types of materials are going to be used on much larger structures, typically wharves, bridges, large commercial buildings will all make use of these specialist timbers. With sawn timber, the availability of smaller sizes like this is relatively common right throughout the country. But if we're looking for larger sized cross sections, the availability is going to be relatively restricted. That's not to say we can't use it, but we have to allow much bigger delivery times. It can take over six months to source large cross section pieces of timber. Recycled timber is often specified by architects. And it can be reclaimed sawn timber. So it can be timber that is removed from an existing building and reassembled into another building with very little extra work. The top two photos show some timber coming out of an old building and as it's used in a new building. So it's the same timber but used in a different environment. It can be re-sawn timber and the bottom sequence of photos show power poles having been taken down from service, been re-sawn into rectangular boards, and those rectangular boards used in another structure to prolong their useful life. 
Timber in its sawn form can have a dual structural and architectural role. Most of the timber in this photograph here is doing a structural job and yet it's been specified by the architect specifically for its appearance. So the sawn timber is often used in framing. It's used in a seasoned state, it's sustainably sourced, it's stress graded, it's structurally reliable. It's also used as a feedstock for some engineered wood products and recycled timber is available in limited quantities and if you're using recycled timber you need to check out the local availability first. Specialist timbers take a long time to actually deliver but are required for some larger structures such as wharves and bridges.